She down there cooking some damn spam. Be them samples. Hey everyone, it's Micah Fragrance back at it again with another video. Today I'm bringing you guys my top five colognes under $100 in 2024. Now keep in mind these are not going to be retail prices, these will be discount prices, primarily off of Joma Shop. So the price I say, you can find it on Joma Shop for that price. Um, Joma Shop, great discounter, but anyways, don't buy fragrances at retail, buy them off discounters. Like I said, I'm just using Joma Shop. That's the one I sh am going to shop off the most. Um, but whatever one you like, these should all be under $100. So I say let's dive into number five. So number five comes from a very legendary line, and it is YSLY Le Parfum. It has a nice opening, grapefruit, ginger, aldehydes, and of course that nice sweet green apple everyone has come to love with the YSLY DNA. And it has a tonka bean and wood heavy dry down. Now, the ginger in the opening is not spicy. It's a very, very nice fragrance. I picked the Le Parfum over the EDP because it's a little more refined, not as loud. The EDP should be under $100 at discounters for the 3.4 ounce as well. I believe this one is like $98, $99 for the 3.4 ounce, so right under it. But I decided why Le Parfum because it's super versatile. You know, a lot of people love the YSOY DNA. I love it too, and this stuff leaves a great scent trail, projects nicely, and it's just a great fragrance. So, deserves a number five spot, amazing signature scent. Now let's dive into the fourth place spot. Number four comes from another legendary line from the House of Armani. It is Aqua de Gio Profondo. This is my favorite Aqua de Gio, but this has C notes, it has Aqua Zone, it has mineral notes, and it's just that standard Aqua de Gio fresh citrusiness in it. Um, this is super, super nice though. If you don't like mineral heavy fragrances, I would skip this fragrance. I love mineral heavy fragrances. Longevity is solid as well, about four to six hours. So you might need to reapply just depending on how this reacts with your skin. Um, for me, it's still pretty strong, although it's not you know, a beast mode fragrance by any means, but it's definitely great. This will be around $90 for a 4.2 ounce, if not a little cheaper on discounters. I found this one at Ross for 90 bucks, but I know it's a little cheaper on say Joma Shop, for example, or around the same price. It actually might be like a dollar or two more. I don't know, still around 90 bucks for the 4.2 ounce. This probably the most versatile aquatic fragrance ever made. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, this fragrance does have a mineral heavy opening. So like I said, if you don't like mineral notes, you know, don't really wear it. Or if you are going to wear it out, spray it about 15 minutes before you leave. Great fragrance, great line that it comes from and deserves a number four spot. Number three, let's dive into it now. Number three is my personal favorite fragrance from a specific line and it's from the Versace Eros line. And that is going to be Versace Eros Flame for a 3.4 ounce. It'll run you about 60 to $70 on Joma Shop. This is very citrusy in the opening, slightly spicy. It has some peppery notes. It has a nice rose note. This one isn't as vanilla heavy as, say, the EDT. The vanilla more sits behind a wall of citrus. It has some florals in there, has some pepperiness in there, but a very beautiful fragrance. A lot of people say this is a winter fragrance only. I highly disagree. You can definitely wear this in the fall and winter. You can wear this in the spring. And if you spray the right amount, you can definitely wear it in the summer because it does have a nice citrusy side. But this is nice. Again, like I said, if you don't like vanilla or not even if you don't like vanilla, because this is still a vanilla dominant fragrance. If you don't want a pure vanilla fragrance, like say the EDT, Eros Flame is going to be perfect. It also stands out. A problem with the Eros DNA is it kind of gets basic. Eros Flame definitely spices things up, um, literally and I guess metaphorically. Um, but Super, super good fragrance, deserves the number three spot, and is one of my favorite fragrances from Versace, and one of my favorite in my collection. So let's dive into the number two spot. And the number two spot comes from the House of Versace as well, and that is Versace's Dylan Blue. Now this will run you about $43 for the 3.4 ounce on Joma Shop, or you can get the uh, 200 ml for about 60 bucks, which I would recommend get that size. But this has grapefruit in the opening, it's embroxen heavy, it's aquatic, it has some nice saffron and the base notes. So this is a very nice, elegant smelling fragrance. A lot of people say, oh, it smells, you know, like a shower gel. This one isn't very shower gel like to me. It's more, I'd say fresh out of the shower, but not a shower gel, if that makes any sense. Um, very, very nice. Saffron makes it nice. Now do not think, oh, it's gonna kind of smell like Baccarat Rouge. Does not smell anything like Baccarat. I've noticed when someone says, oh, this fragrance has saffron in it. So many people think like Baccarat, is it like a Baccarat clone? Is it supposed to smell like that? No, this 
is just a nice blue fragrance, four season fragrance. It's never going to be too hot nor too cold to wear this. I got a pre-reformulation batch, which is anything like pre-2024. I got one, two, three, four, five. Get eight hours of longevity. I get compliments. It is a little synthetic, but the way Versace did this, it's synthetic without smelling like a gross synthetic. It's a very natural, fresh smelling syntheticness. Great fragrance deserves the number two spot. So let's dive into the number one spot now. The number one spot might not come as a surprise to many of you guys if you follow my channel. And that is Stronger With You EDT. My favorite fragrance of all time. This is also around $70 for the 3.4 ounce on Joma Shop. The Stronger With You DNA, beautiful sugary sweet DNA. There's a sugar note. There's a smoke note. It has this really nice chestnut and vanilla combo. That's primarily what you get. Longevity is solid anywhere from six to eight hours, depending on how it reacts with your skin, with decent projection as well. Compliment Monster, women love the Strong With You line. Um, they love Intensely. I have Intensely as well. I could have thrown Intensely there, but I like the EDT more than Intensely. Um, beautiful fragrance, though. My favorite fragrance. This one is going to be a little more restricted towards the cooler weather. You can still probably wear it spring, some cooler summer nights. You know, if you're going to a formal event, you can definitely wear it. But Great fragrance, deserves my number one spot. So I want you guys to tell me what you guys think of my top five list in the comments below. Let me know how your list would stack up to mine. Let me know if there's anything from my collection you would have switched in there for one of these. Again, you know, I want to know. I appreciate your guys' criticism in the comments. So please make sure to leave a comment. Drop a follow if you have not already. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe, everyone.